What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Should we talk about Scream 6 in this video here again today? So actually before I jump into the whole idea regarding the whole topic of Sam Carpenter, Billy Loomis and their relation, I do want to come on here and say that there was a small tidbit. And when I say small, I mean like a ant size of an ant small thing that happened related to scream six at CinemaCon. and shout out to you again 3c films i saw you interacting with someone who was in attendance barry hurts there was just like a sizzle reel of footage where they were announcing their upcoming slate of movies coming in 2023 that's where we got the official title for a quiet place day one and then they did have scream six factored into it the unfortunate thing though is that it didn't have any official title or anything it didn't even say scream six it apparently just said it apparently only had the wording of scream movie just scream movie so i mean that's not what many of us were hoping to get out of CinemaCon. i know we were hoping for a lot more it didn't have a tagline or anything um uh, it just had a title card apparently with scream as part of the coming soon package so that's all you got at CinemaCon. but to jump into the main meat and potatoes of this video the idea because i did see killjoy jake's recent video shout out to you and i'm expecting you to have your jeepers creepers 4 video up any minute so i can watch it but i saw your recent video about sam and billy possibly not being related i think that they have a chance of yes exploring that but then at the same time i think that if they do that someone like me will then have a question okay well then why was christina letting her daughter for many years after she found out act out or believe that this was her father and then also you apparently i guess became an alcoholic you allowed the the potentially real father of the child to step away and you know there was never an attempt to to repair it there or maybe they they did and like i said before because i've come on here talked about maybe billy was someone that this guy was told to not worry about in high school so then when you potentially find out falsely that your daughter who you thought was your daughter is actually that man's daughter you know you don't want to hear it. you're not open to any discussions with her you just cut her off and you call it quits and you move on and live your best life so i just wouldn't understand why with the narrative you would allow your daughter to then act out for many years but then now you finally in the sixth movie sit her down and say hey you know what that's not your dad uh, it just feels like to me okay well christina why didn't you tell me that when i came in running and screaming and shouting about this like i understand that the father left and maybe there was some heartbreak there but at the end of the day the most important thing is that you needed to have that discussion with sam very early on especially with the tease that she had a criminal life uh as a fallout in relation to like how she was dealing with that news like what what does that say about about you as her mom letting her believe that lie for many years and now in her adulthood when tara's presumably again off at college in scream six you want to come out here and say hey sam you know i hate to break it to you but that's that that wasn't your dad okay mom why didn't you say that years ago i i feel like they have kind of written themselves into a corner where they can't do that although you know they 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 can they have the capability of doing it but per storyline wise it would just raise questions again as to stuff not really making sense i guess on christina's part maybe she'll answer it and be like oh i wanted you to suffer but then at the same time that's again not adding any likable traits to you now as a mother we're just now meeting you would come off as even even more terrible mother uh the side effects that tara had to undergo from that as well watching you become a drunk all of these other things she dealt with after who knows what she dealt with with you after sam had left town when she was 18 it just would feel like you know christina you're actually kind of um kind of a snake <laughs> why did you let all of that happen and now you want to say that this is not her dad i've actually seen people say that skeet not skeet but um Stu mocker is actually her dad now that idea there mm, no absolutely not and the only reason i said is because i'm not really uh, interested in a narrative where you tell us one thing but then no it's actually this i 
And I, I, for anyone who says they did that with Roman, no, 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 no. That's completely different. Roman is an extension of what we already had established to be true. We learned certain questions that we weren't really thinking about and had extensions of details that were already still left the same with Roman's edition. It just added a lot more steps to stuff that still remained the same. With flip-flopping of fathers, that's different. That's, that's full-on retconning. That's full-on... I would say more so of a retcon than Roman, because I, I guess you could yes say aspects of Roman and all that stuff is still retcons, but it's not it's not a full fledged retcon in the sense that you're not telling me one thing now and then switching it up later. All Roman is an extension of something that still was left to be true. So Stu Mocker being Sam's dad, don't really care to see that. Uh, Bela Loomis is her father. And I do think that if they were to take on a narrative like that with Christina telling her that she's not actually his child, then I think it does kind of then undermine some of the narrative in Screen 5 with what Richie was trying to accomplish. Um, I just think it would take away from a lot of aspects there with the killers, what their whole, whole end game was. Might take away a little bit from Sam's own journey and growth throughout the film now for your mother to sit you down and say hey you know what that wasn't your father okay okay mom again why where were you at age 13 because that's what she's claiming she how old she was when she learned this she's 25 now almost 30 and you just now tell her after all this stuff has come crashing down around not only her but tara and you you tell her this now like that's just insane that's insane i think that would be an instant thing that could kind of just write christina off as someone i can i cannot i cannot um really like you right now uh maybe if you're present for a couple of movies which i don't think they're gonna have uh maybe i'll change my mind but learning that if you were to do something like that i'm gonna be against christina right then and there i i'm like no you you're you're sick <laughs> i don't think they're gonna do that but i just want to share my thoughts on sam potentially the idea of sam potentially not being billy's daughter if they can explore it and it makes sense of course i'm gonna come out here and praise it i just don't see them making that work sam is the is the daughter of billy loomis and that's what we will have going forward and yes that's all we got at CinemaCon. hopefully we'll get more news in the coming weeks and days let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video